personal teacher by choice i welcome you sir once again i request you sir to start the session over you over to you sir uh thank you very much madam uh for the lovely introduction uh, generally uh, it happens that the total number of uh, words which have been used in the, in the length of the introduction and if you look at the session they are almost similar hello am i audible yes okay, sir yes okay, sir you are fine. audible so um, uh, it's always difficult to uh, conduct the session post lunch because uh, when we have given more priority to our stomach than our mind then this definitely a difficult task for us uh, i received somewhere around a uh, uh, list of 91 participants and uh, right now i can see around 15 so 1/4 or 1 uh, actually uh, sir actually 35 to 40 participants are there okay uh, they will they will join one by one sir fine fine no But issue 40 no issue. ratio is there 35 to 40 fine fine no issues no issues no problem right okay so uh, i'll start my uh, uh, session yes, right sir. just a minute Okay, uh, I guess uh, the screen is visible to everybody. Yes, sir. Fine. Okay. So the title uh, which has been given to me is "Importance of Communication Skills in Higher Education." Uh, when I was uh, going through the list which has been shared with me, I could find that uh, most of the participants are uh, engaged and associated with uh, higher education in one or the other subject and in the different capacities. so i thought that if we if we go with this topic that can help a little bit more to the people so uh, we'll talk about it uh first of all i'd like to start uh with this can anybody guess what is this we'll have two way communication because when i talk about communication and if i speak alone that won't be the you know sufficing the purpose of this session can you recollect or reconnect this word with your previous experience emergency exist exit right i am a stubborn teacher so i'll not move ahead unless i get the reply Uh, yes sir yes sir good afternoon sir good afternoon yes sir emergency means uh, that is the word used as emergency window that is uh, if any circumstances are there so we can okay. uh, we can survive ourselves we can go outside from that uh, room or from that space right. or exit uh, is normally used the word from any any function that we are just leaving the space leaving the room uh, after okay. completing some task okay that is to exit or we can say to escape from that place okay great uh, kedan ji thank you very much for your uh, response thank you sir okay uh, uh, i'll not talk about 2020 it has been a you know, great year uh, in many respects so in the year 2019 uh, i want to know that is there anybody who has traveled by air anybody who traveled to air uh, you know and the, who could find or recall whatever was explained before the flight was about to take off i'm talking about you uh, know uh, seat belts oxygen mask and there is one special seat generally you know it is found there that you know the air hostess asks before explaining the person who has been there sitting there next to the emergency exit and explains certain things can anybody recall this you can type yes in the chat box if you can recall yes sir yeah so generally it happens right that people uh, when we travel and in the aircraft 
we ex you know, people explain and the people the you know the passenger who is sitting there next to the emergency exit that person is explained the rules that what to do when there is a problem in the flight all the instructions are explained to that person is there anyone who could experience this directly for example some air hostess you know explain to you or you could find that you are sitting there somewhere next to this kind of seats and you could find you could overheard that okay this people were there you know the passenger was there he was listening to this now my question to you people is there is no question about it that the air hostess must have explained each and every minor point and made sure, double sure rather, that the passenger understood. Now, if I ask you that what is the procedure? Can you explain? Or if you are there in that situation, can you handle it? Can you miss you all people? I ask you again that if that situation arises, can you people, if you know that Erostas has explained you everything in detail, even though, will you be able to tackle the situation? Yes or no? Yes, I think, sir, yes. Okay. Uh, anybody else other than uh yes yes sir one two okay anybody else not perfectly okay this is a question of life and death you have uh, people uh, you know uh, lots of people's uh, you know responsibility on your shoulders under this circumstances Right? Will you be able to perform? Most probably, you know, uh, uh, people who said yes, but if I ask them that, you know, uh, if, we, if we talk about them, the thing would be there that, see, if you, if you have not done it, you have listened to it. If you are a frequent flyer, you might, must have, you know, come across such kind of situations frequently. But unless and until you don't do it, once even you won't be able to perform that confidence comes when you do confidence you know cannot be achieved or gained by listening to it so i thought that you know when we talk about communication skills which has been a very common word across the globe when we talk about uh, you know any communication any interaction conversation we find this every time but the question is up to what extent we understand and we can you know uh, go through it we can take the advantage of learning because we listen to it but we don't do it so there are things that we know i, I remember a very beautiful sentence which was there in times of india you know uh, i it, it was it was like this everything is written on the wall everything is written on the wall but we assume that it addresses somebody we assume that it addresses to somebody. That means it is not for us. So learning by doing is the best way. And that is the way I selected for this session. That means we'll have lots of activities, interactions, instead of going one way, right? OK. Now, with the advent of technology, see, uh, this 2020 has given lots of exposure to our technology so one more thing i would like to ask that you know uh, everybody when you are a teacher when you are a professor everybody must have one favorite teacher everybody will have one favorite teacher right so my question is can you teach the same way the way your favorite teacher used to teach. I repeat my question. 
right can you teach the way your most favorite teacher used to teach or do you do that to some extent we try our level best yeah. but not yeah to we, that okay way. okay fine see uh, i tell you the generation gap when we were students right at that point of time generation gap was a generation the millennials when you talk about the students the people who you know born somewhere around 2000 right at that point of time the gap of generation was different that was around 5 to 10 years today generation gap means 2 years or 3 years maximum that means whatever you taught last year may not be applicable this year because things are getting changed exactly right i think uh, kunj uh, ganatra has mentioned there are many factors which have changed sir exactly i tell you that so i must tell you that the pattern that that of that was of communication has been changed you look at the powerpoint presentation which i am showing you it's less crowded the time was there people understand that communication that means to convey the thing is that there are lots of things that come into you know picture if you talk about powerpoint presentation that doesn't mean that whatever is there in word file you copy and paste and mention over here it is not the thing but there are you know there are issues that we need to understand so emergency exit that that was the story that an anecdote that i wanted to use that we need to understand that there is always best thing and that is learning by doing right so that we need to understand that so that's why we will use the same kind of thing i guess the participants have been increasing so i hope that by the end of the session we'll be able to reach to the target now we need to warm up ourselves because you know after the lunch if 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 anybody starts preaching you right you will not like it because we are not used to listen to we are used to speak we have lots of people sitting there in the classroom and we speak they listen to so it's difficult so i'll try that i speak less and i make you speak more so here in the chat box if you can find one form a google form i'm sharing with you people i want to know from you people that what are the three most important things for effective communication what are the three important things as per you according to you whatever you feel that this is most important thing according to me it may vary it may be different no problem but i want you people to give your 3 minutes time to do this let me check everybody is requested to share three important things for effective communication you can see that zero responses till now Three minutes to you people. Everybody is requested to click on the link of the Google form and fill the responses. Maximum three to four minutes, not more than that. We'll have a discussion on it. Oh wow! Let's see who is the fastest finger first. Sumant, so okay, is the first one. Second, we have Kunj, Ketan Vyas ji, okay, Dr. Nirupam Patel, okay, great, great, fine.
I'm expecting around 15 responses minimum. Various to the one third portion. Faster, please. Okay, sixth response. Great. For students, you know, we can say that uh, if you do not you know, respond to, your attendance will not be marked. <laughs> but for teachers, it's difficult to mention, right? You may mention, madam, that you know the people who do not respond to, right, uh, in the given time, they'll not have lunch or dinner. Eight, okay. Sir, you can scare us for not giving the certificate. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> See, I am nobody to do that. <laughs> Just on a lighter side, sir. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. But it is required, you know. <laughs> I got you know double uh, double difficulty. Uh, one is post lunch, second is teachers. So it's difficult to do that, and that to online. So let's see nine. Okay, last two minutes. Last two minutes, and uh, we will you know wrap up this activity, and we'll go for more. You got 10 responses till now. These are the people who have responded. Okay. Last minute, there are 22, uh, 22 people or 21 people. If you remove two hosts, there are 19. We've got 10 response, 50%. Okay, last minute, 11. Okay, are crossing more than 50% benchmark. Twelve. Okay, one minute to go. Okay, now I can, uh, if you can see this. Oh, <laughs> Miss Rani S, Mrs. Rani S has mentioned, yes, 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 okay. Let me check the word that I'm looking for. Could I get that or not? Okay. Fine. So uh, we'll start with one. Uh, I uh, beg your pardon to uh, call you by first name because I don't know uh, uh, you people, your full name. So whatever is written here, I'll mention that. So Sumanji, if you can you know, uh, uh, tell me in one minute time that uh, what do you mean by body language, command over language, and voice modulation? Uh, sir, uh, body language is the use of hands or uh, body postures, okay. uh, the, way, the way in which you, uh, you know, uh, your body speaks. Uh, okay. It is not only the uh, uh, words or voice that uh, that communicates everything. So I think okay. body language is also equally important. Right. And uh, uh, the next aspect is the command over language. Uh, 
if we don't have command over language then probably uh, we will add on to the error or uh, what we can call as noise uh, in the in the okay. standard communication process okay. uh, and lastly uh, to kind of improvise to or take it to a next level i think we require some voice modulation so that right. uh, 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 we can stress on certain aspects right 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 okay it has been also said that 94% of uh, communication happens with non verbal communication so in that way body language is very important and i yes. keep on telling my students you know that uh, uh, your body speaks before you speak your body speaks before you speak right so that's why it should be uh, proper and it should be in a rather proper means now it can it should be in align with whatever we mentioned right thank you very much manji uh, kunj ji yeah, if you can in you know, answer Uh, if you can explain or throw light on whatever you mentioned facial expressions gesture pronunciations uh, grammatical structure yes sir so uh, very similar to uh, what uh, mr suman had mentioned okay. that uh, non verbal communication is uh, you know it highlights the most more than what uh, we speak normally verbally okay. uh, so for me facial expressions and gestures are the ones that comes first to my mind when i think about communication right then pronunciations uh, which often uh, many a times what we call what we call as language barrier so pron right. if the pronunciations are done wrong uh, also there are certain things like dialects if the dialects are different if certain words are pronounced differently in different parts of gujarat itself it becomes very difficult <laughs> even though we are all gujarati and we speak the same language right and then of course grammatically structured sentences are very important no matter whichever language it is otherwise it would just mean entirely something different when um, the receiver receives it right right okay so uh, generally you know we have seen people telling that i didn't mean like that my intention was not there yes. that means there was a barrier yes. in communication whatever they wanted to you know convey it could not be conveyed okay uh, ketan ji yes sir. Uh, thank you very much kunchi okay ketan ji if you can mention uh, yeah. explain yeah uh, yes sir def definitely sir uh, i have i have put three, three three or four points here first that that, that is why and then audience's purpose means uh, here I, i would like to say uh, receiver's purpose and their needs and the perception purpose, perception of both the person sender and receiver if we are clear with the purpose then automatically all all the factors will start synchronizing okay. whether it is non verbal communication or the facial expressions so first i i believe that purpose should be very clear in our mind that what exactly we want to share with other and why we want to communicate so okay. th this is the thing that i would like to say sir okay thank you very much sir it was good thing i uh, i recalled one thing you know uh, from your uh, feedback that was uh, I, uh, it was 94 when there was a, a talk a simon sinek ted talk uh, the name of his book is start with why and he has beautifully explained uh, three uh, things he called it a golden circle that means in the inner circle there is why in outer circle there is uh, how and in the uh, outermost there is what the people who communicate effectively in anywhere right they communicate inside out that means they are clear with why first then they are clear with how and whatever they communicate this is very important most of the people they communicate outside inside that means they are clear with what they want to communicate they may be clear about you know uh, how they will communicate but why they communicate it's a big question that they don't understand and that's why it fails so in uh, 18 minutes of his speech it was about business strategies and all but if we if we consider uh, what we call it communication in the center we can find that if we are clear with why right our how and what can be clearer in that way there's no doubt about it right okay uh, thank you very much sir uh, madam nirupama madam if you can explain okay. in yes. one minute time please okay sir actually body language is a type of non verbal communication sir right uh, in which physical behavior as opposed to words are used to express or convey the information uh, we can say such behavior includes facial expressions body posture gestures eye contact touch and the use of face okay and uh, uh, i am talking about conversation uh, it is a key to language development we can say 
the exchange of thoughts and ideas and listening to one another people okay. learn by hearing each other's thoughts while observing facial and body expressions that shows emotion right and uh, communication skill as it is common being able to communicate effectively is perhaps the most important of all life skills right it is what enables us to pass information to one another exactly and to understand it properly right even the person is born before the person is born when it starts moving in the womb of mother right from there uh, it starts communicating till that person passes away and his picture is there hang on you know the wall with one beautiful garland right so till that the entire process communication is uh, you know uh, everywhere every time whether you breathe or not whether you you know the inhale or exhale air or whether the your heart beats you know starts or stops everywhere communication happens it it is uh, it is definitely that you know sometimes we are not aware about it but it is there everywhere so thank you very much ma madam for your uh, um, explanation uh, nirali madam if you can explain confidence yes, knowledge and uh, proper content exactly okay sir actually if we want to deliver anything then first of all we must have confidence and it is exactly. necessary and right. the content that we want to deliver should be clear and in order to uh, deliver that content we should have a proper knowledge exactly. that's what i am i think about exactly exactly okay and uh, what do you mean by open mind so that's not my answer okay. it's about Sorry. proper it's proper yeah. content but what content. we uh, yes what we are delivering that should be proper and that should okay, be concise. Exactly. okay yes. that means you need to have some leg work before you deliver yeah. Yeah. So yeah if it is properly planned there is no problem it has yes. been beautifully said in english that if you fail to plan you plan to fail yeah. <laughs> right okay great okay sneha madam yes sir yeah sneha madam uh, uh, i like talk to talk about uh, madam 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 one minute you know, uh, she has been uh, the companion for the tea and my colleague uh, we have worked together so it's a very uh, good opportunity and uh, you know a great time to have you madam uh, on board thank you so much sir <laughs> yes madam please yes uh, if we talk about effective communication no there are so many uh, words or important things that strikes our mind but the first three words that strikes were uh, listening non verbal communication and clarity as all of us know that listening is one of the most important skills so if we will not be able to listen to the message clearly obviously the communication will be misunderstood uh, second when we talk about uh, non verbal communication so obviously it includes all the things like gestures postures uh, facial expressions and all so if we imagine ourselves uh, standing in the class and we are standing erect and giving a lecture obviously the students uh, they do not get interested towards it so there's a thing that we have to uh, keep the non verbal communication active to make our communication more effective and the third thing uh, how much uh, clear you are or uh, uh, the pronunciation that you do everything is uh, all well and perfect but if the message is not clearly passed uh, it will not be a proper communication so that's what i think that these three are important uh, things for effective communication great great okay so listening and uh, there is two there are two words uh, one is listening second is hearing right it has been said that hearing uh, uh, hearing is with ears and listening is with mind that means uh, whenever we listen to we understand also so in if you look at the you know uh, the mandarin language it says that the, when we talk about listening there is ear plus mind both the things are combined together so in that way it is important right okay the non verbal communication whatever uh, she, uh, she mentioned that was uh, there uh, with clarity is very important because if you do not have vision if you cannot visualize right i could visualize this session that how it will go when i when i was preparing was planning this session so when you if you can visualize this definitely you can go ahead with without any kind of hurdles right okay next please uh, hello i am adila nakhuda the first thing that i feel that is very much important is language uh, communication is very much dynamic along with the delivering the things with non verbal communication uh, language do plays a very important role i feel uh language code of conduct is very much important 
uh, so first thing is very much important in communication and we cannot avoid that body language do plays a very important role but at larger part language do have its own role and it is very much important to make the other person understand with the help of language in a more insightful manner okay uh, the, uh, second thing is medium through which we are communicating medium can be verbal medium and it can be non verbal medium as well and the last one is understanding before you communicate it is very much necessary to understand that code without understanding you cannot respond and the communication cannot be successful so these three are the basics when it comes to communication i feel okay thank you okay thank you ma'am so uh, it was a good thing in you know, a coding uh, decoding and encoding that has been in you know, our there in and the process of communication channel and medium definitely plays important role if you want to convey a message uh, what, what we call it uh, emergency message or urgent message in that case it is important to make a call instead of sending a message so these are the things you know that that we understand but thing is that sometimes it uh, we feel that that you know uh, we fail to implement that whatever we know that is uh, something you know that i'm going to take in the you know uh, a next phase of our that you know uh, sharing i'll not call it a session i'll i'll talk about it as a sharing whatever i know whatever little i know rather you know i'm going to share with you people because we all are equals i'm the first among the equals because i'm you know i'm the, from the other side that's why otherwise i consider that that we all are equal in a way right okay uh, gaurav gandhi ji if you can mention if you can share the three things what are the three things and why you selected understanding technology and language so yes sir uh, uh, i decided that uh, understanding is more important for the uh, data uh, because uh, if you want to uh, deliver anything but you, uh, the other person cannot understand that value or and so you cannot uh, you cannot more explain it that okay uh, also technology is important uh, which technology you used for communication uh, so that was also useful for you and the language also uh, important part right the, in, in the different languages uh, when you say something the meaning will be uh, different for all the people exactly great okay uh, see uh, the, uh, when you talk about technology you can see understand this google sheets google forms which are common things and i'm not going to talk about very advanced technology whatever things are available to us it, it's it's about the vision that we can utilize the available you know things for our sessions for our sharing right that is important so uh, you can understand that the, the level of you know knowledge for technology is not important but whatever you know how to use that how to utilize this that is a little bit required with that you can definitely convey your message right uh, the way you said understanding and language both are important things uh, language portion i'm going to cover in the next phase so i'll not speak more about it i'll not reveal the secrets rather right okay uh, manisha madam if you can mention uh, your three points confidence knowledge and open mind yes sir. according to me if one has enough knowledge and he is he or she is confident about her content uh, one can deliver a content properly or communicate properly and open minded that is a kind of nature like according to me sometimes what happen ki due to introvert nature communication is not done properly okay right uh, see uh, introvert in second thing i tell you that there are certain prejudices right uh, in english we call uh, you know i'll write uh, in the okay i'll i'll speak that Uh, there are two types of you uh, know impressions one is called effects called hello effect and second is horn effect we uh, get responses from uh, uh, as a teacher we get the responses from the you now teachers who dealt with the particular class in the last semester and they mentioned that students are not good this time you know we need to we take care about it they are very mischievous notorious they are not attending they are not obedient these and that so we have that kind of notion in our mind and we we go to the class with that kind of notion in the mind and there is a problem right we call it prejudice even it happens with the teachers also when students you know when, when students they consult their seniors and they ask that who is going to talk, you know deal with the particular subject 
and when student says this faculty oh my god you are gone then right and sometimes they you know you will enjoy like everything so that particular thing comes in the mind right and because of that thing the teacher and students you know their interaction establishes a different kind of things now uh, my question is as a teacher we cannot change the mindset of the students as a teacher i tell you that when we come out from this prejudice when we go with uh, with the open mind in the classroom definitely we are going to you know do the miracles so that was a very good uh, thing that manisha madam mentioned uh, jyoti madam if you can mention uh, share uh, in detail the good knowledge of language confidence and empathy empathy is a new a very good word yes sir so good knowledge of language because if i have to communicate with you and i don't know the language which you are expecting me to communicate with like suppose you know gujarati and i have to communicate in gujarati so i have to learn that first and if i don't if i have half knowledge of it i may say something which may take a wrong meaning or a wrong understanding so if we don't know a common language it's better to learn it and then interact secondly confidence to talk to anybody the first thing that is required is confidence if you are not confident the front person won't listen to you because your face itself tells that what you are telling you are not believing in those words itself and mm-hmm. last is empathy because as a teacher when we are taking classes we don't get classes in the morning hours only we get it in the evenings or in the afternoons so how to we have to understand how the student might be feeling sitting there at 3 o'clock when it is summer and his stomach is full he is feeling sleepy and i am talking in a monotonous tone so if i don't emphasize his situation i'll not be able to deliver a good lecture so i have to do something creative or some activity based like you are doing it now for us because you know it's a post lunch session so you emphasize our situation and therefore it is becoming more interactive all right i tell you one secret that i could not have my lunch because of certain administrative work i was you know stuck into that and uh, i had to select at you know, a lunch in the session and i selected the session <laughs> because there was a question uh, i was afraid of sneha madam scolding you know, otherwise there can be a big scolding from her that why didn't you join at the right time <laughs> okay so we can we can wait for you if you want to take lunch for you. no 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 right no, okay, okay. <laughs> see i am a teacher first right <laughs> okay okay uh, next is rabadi sir uh, you have mentioned three things uh, verbal action and demonstration so if you can please uh, explain it in detail for one minute okay i guess uh, sir is not available right now at this point of time uh, rani madam has uh, i guess uh, no, uh, share her details uh, in the chat box so madam if you can uh, talk about it language body language is important ethics and punctual madam if you are comfortable to share I think sir, so now I'm not comfortable. Okay, so fine, no worries. No worries. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, next is Raju sir. Uh, uh, he has mentioned about uh, uh, language clarity and expressions. Hello. Okay, uh, Divyakant Patel ji, please. Be clear, be clear and be concise. One of the most important. Uh, okay. One of the most important aspects uh, he has mentioned here. So, if you can uh, please continue uh, with your three important things that you have mentioned. Devakant sir. So if you are not comfortable, it's okay. You know, uh, if you can type yes or no, 
in the chat box if you are comfortable or not comfortable we can go ahead with next okay uh, sir has mentioned be clear and be concise second is uh, one of the most important aspects uh, of effective communication is being a good listener very important thing uh, it's a very, very rare quality that uh, that is found in teachers right and uh, and, uh, and the third one is giving and receiving appropriate feedback is an essential communication skill right uh, divya can sir if you can unmute your mic uh, and if you can you know answer why did you write this third one giving and receiving appropriate feedback not an issue right okay uh, last one nupur ji not getting an answer the meaning of word and just uh, good afternoon sir uh, sorry i joined late that's the reason whatever i could understand from the question i have uh, given the response fine uh, no but uh, i would like to change my uh, three things of most effective communication fine fine uh, because that, when i joined it was the uh, the conversation was going about body language that's the reason this was my response to your uh, <laughs> okay, form okay okay, okay. Uh, what i think is uh, three important things that make communication more effective first is content uh you should have a good content if you don't have content probably uh you know com- what you want to communicate you cannot communicate so content is very essential which in ha- uh, increases the quality second is understanding the audience requirement that is the listener's requirement or the receiver's requirement if you have understood what kind uh, what your uh, audience wants you can uh, modulate uh, the information or the message that you want to communicate and third is feedback uh because okay. uh, feedback is very essential because until unless you get to know uh, if you uh, you know you have communicated the right thing whatever you want to communicate and the receiver also has understood it in the same way if right. that has happened only then the communication is complete and it has a meaning otherwise right. what happens is we communicate but we fail to understand what the other person has received and there is yeah. where it leads to ineffective communication so feedback plays a very important role in uh, effective communication that's what i feel okay fine uh, it's good that you came late <laughs> otherwise you would have said the things in, in the first i would have you know <laughs> bound up my session because that was the crux that i wanted to convey uh, ma'am can okay. you tell me where are you from uh so i'm from uh, karnataka belgaum okay great um uh a nice uh, thought process uh, for this and the, you, you have quickly revised it thank you very much uh, uh, for responding okay uh, now thank you, sir. Uh, yeah sir uh, sorry yes. to interrupt you sir yes please uh, sir uh, same here i also joined a la- little bit late okay uh, if you permit i would like to opine myself please sir as i mentioned earlier that we all are equals it's a, it's okay, a process sir. of sharing so you please do that no problem okay sir uh, uh, what i believe about effective communication is whatever you intend the same thing is being conveyed okay that is i think i should uh, or uh, we can categorize as a effective communication not a communication simple communication but effective right. one and i okay. think for that first of all you need to have the apt medium apt apt medium right. is whatever is i think uh, proper okay for uh, for for sharing or for conveying your idea that apt mm-hmm. medium plays a very vital role second right. is blending of non verbal signals means okay. if it is a proper one if it is a complimenting one definitely it gives a concrete meaning to whatever okay. you say uh, okay. verbally okay. and third and the last most important thing is the feedback because okay. feedback actually confirms that whatever you have conveyed the same thing has been received by the listener or you can say the receiver so exactly. i think these three are the i think major pillars of communication okay to... all right uh, samit sir if you are not uh, you know uh, interrupted we would have missed the most important things about uh, today's activity uh, yes, thank sir. you very much for your proactiveness yes. okay sir okay sir. okay fine so uh, let's go for uh, the thing that we uh, the presentation that we we were talking about so we'll you now continue that one okay just give me a minute
so that was a warm up session i think everybody is now uh, go with that okay uh, responses we have discussed now uh, i want to know that what is the title of today's session that we are talking about what is the title that we are talking about today uh the role of communication and ethics at okay. workplace okay anybody else i guess moderators are not allowed to speak right <laughs> okay sir its role of communication and ethics in workplace okay anybody else sir uh tools tools and tactics tactics for organizational transformation okay great ma'am it was the uh, previous topic by the expert <laughs> <laughs> okay fine let's uh, go back to our first slide the title is uh, importance of communication skills in higher education <laughs> okay uh, i was talking about uh, my sessions uh, title that i was talking about so people who have joined lately definitely they would not come across about it okay so title of the session and i would like to discuss more about it so next uh, 15 20 minutes time uh, we'll talk about this uh, i broke down the entire uh, title into four parts first is importance second is communication third is skills fourth is higher education right okay so uh, we will start uh, from uh, down to up that is uh, we'll talk about higher education right okay so can uh, we can start talking about higher education so in if you talk about higher education in entire india right because uh, this is a kind of uh fdp where people from different parts of india have participated so we need to talk about india as a scope of the you know the, uh, the interaction or sharing right if you look at the uh, different reports for example there are few i can uh, share uh, aspiringminds.com uh, if you look at the skill journey uh, reports if you re get the reports from government if you take the reports from uh, you know unesco uh, they they are reports even i can tell you that uh, cope cubes is a, is a kind of good platform right they test uh, the skills different skill sets of students who are there uh, associated or got enrolled for any of the higher education courses now uh, the thing is if we look at this and uh, when students are there in higher education that means they they have Uh, completed their 12th grade they are in ug or pg program and their goal after that particular respective course is to join uh, for the study or go for a job third in saurashtra is to have on startup now the major mass if you look at it the major mass is there who are job aspirants that means those are those who are looking for good jobs or those who are those who want to go for a job it can be a job in the public sector unit the job can be for you know uh, private sector it can be uh, you know uh, professional uh, programs so it can be anything now the agencies which i was talking about uh, you know earlier uh, aspiring minds co cubes right uh, mahindra is there right they are the people there are the agencies they test students employability skills and i tell you that the picture is not very good because when you look at the students uh, now uh, progress from professional or personal level right it is not the one which is expected one fortunately india has most number of young people but the problem is those people are not skilled one they are not trained for good jobs 
when i was uh, on a delivering a uh, you know, talk uh, to the students for their employability skills you know uh, one student asked me that how can you define a job i said you know if it is not reversed remember and understand it how to define a job i said job should be there uh, you know in a way that it should not reverse in any of the in a situations if you look at the word job it is j o b if you reverse it it becomes b o j boj as burden that means the day that you still you know you start finding or feeling that it's you don't want to go for a workplace it can be anything it can be anything it can be a small job a big job or it can be a you know, college or university or a company or anything right that means you are you are stopped enjoying the workplace and that is a big problem right ethics you know uh, virtues uh, your morals everything comes over there right so uh, it, that is very very clear thing that we need to understand now uh, if if you look at this when we are teaching students for preparing students for higher education and for further studies it is our responsibility that what they what they should do and what they should not do but thing is that everywhere communication comes in the picture right because thing is that they are not conveyed they are not convinced they are not communicated and that's the big problem that comes across so that is important the employability skill is down in a way if you look at see i tell you that when when there was a one a person you know uh, from hr of lnd right lnd is a is a big company and that person had come to my college campus and that was 34th campus that means during the year that person had gone before coming to my campus he had visited 33 campuses including you know uh, iits premium institutions of india it's not about gujarat saurashtra rajkot or one location and he could he could tell me that i could not find the candidates and they had one common problem that is communication skills i can bet on my boots right you go and ask any placement officer of any university of any institution right those who deal with uh, the students of higher education they will tell you that the students are not good with communication skills now communication skills does not mean english language or any one language communication is a culture communication is a culture they both are interconnected i tell you why people need to write ielts exam toefl exam when they are looking for you know opportunities to go to any other country where english is the first language if you minutely observe the syllabus the material exam material which is used for conducting or you know um, uh, administrating the ielts exam you will come to know that the content which is there they try to you know imbibe they try to convey that this is the method this is the way we communicate over here it's not one language it's a, it's a culture so i personally believe that culture and communication are interconnected very closely they are rather you know two sides of one coin so uh, when we talk about higher education we need to be very careful right we need to be extra careful when we deal with this kind of people for their further studies be it their personal life or professional life right okay now yes please sir if i could interrupt you sorry for interrupting you please please uh, uh, just just uh, a question sir uh, <clears throat> how do you think communication uh, you know uh, when you're talking about uh, you know when you're telling communication as a culture uh, how do we look at look at it i mean like from the indian perspective okay now uh, thing is that uh, when we uh, specifically communicate in the second language right it can be third language foreign language whatever but when we talk about uh, communicating in english right i i tell you that i like to share one uh, brief uh, research that i carried out at my university level that i wanted to know that why students are not able to communicate communicate means to express views right so i gave them one topic a random topic of one word you need to speak uh, for one minute maximum of one minute right this paper is there in you know, research gate right this paper is available there you can refer to it later on if you wish to so here uh, i gave them one word to explain and 
I recorded that. Then I then there was an idea, right? I I told the same number of same sample of students that you need to speak on the same topic in your mother language, in the first language, be it Gujarati or English, Hindi or whatever it is, right? I recorded that, and by using one software called Virtual DJ, where you can you know play two tracks together. I played those two you know tracks together. There was 124 students, right? As a sample, I kind of took. Right at that time when I did this, I was not uh, thinking of writing a paper. But later on, when I look at the results, I thought that I need to go for it. Then now, what happens that when I reviewed this, I could find that the people who were not good in English, expressing the same word, they were also not good in explaining the same thing in their first language. That means there was a question of articulation. Number one. Number two. This is a culture that is there in India, rather I've seen in Gujarat and Saurashtra, it's a typical thing that whenever you try to convey something in English, people look at you. The communicating with somebody in English is, is considered as that person is boasting. This is the big problem. We do not accept it, right? The way we accept people speaking in Hindi, that's a big problem. This is culture, right? I tell you that if so-called English medium schools, when students go there, they speak in English, right? They communicate in English, but then they come home, right? There are so many funny incidents I can share. I can list out for hours, right? That comes. Yesterday, I had been to Ahmedabad, and I when I was driving my car on the way to Ahmedabad, I could find one beautiful car, a black color OD car that just overtook my car. And on the back side of there, that was written, butter thief. It was written, butter thief. Oh, my conjure. <laughs> <laughs> Got it now? Now, <laughs> so we, we have the problem. <laughs> Very funny, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the problem, right? So we need to come out from there. We need to give opportunities to students to speak in English, to communicate in English. It can be uh, English Day celebrations that, you know, we, uh, we uh, incorporate we blend it into our culture so in that way that can be done otherwise you know they mug up the things right and they deliver the things and uh, there is no uh, space where or there are no opportunities where you know they they feel that they can have some room for speaking that's a big thing i i guess i could uh, uh, answer to your query yes sir thank you okay now uh, if we go with the text with skills, see, uh, uh, the first line that I mentioned here was learning by doing, right? So whatever we know that is a knowledge. So I used to you know, get one beautiful example from our, our pro provost. There's a the difference between knowledge, skill, and wisdom. Knowledge, skill, and wisdom. People talk about knowledge and skill, but very less people talk about wisdom. Right. So here we need to understand that whatever you know is a knowledge, whatever you can do or you can you know, implement that is a skill and what not to do, what not to do, that is a wisdom. Fine. For example, I tell you, I give you an example. You must have have uh, must have come across lots of you know uh, uh, examples where people exemplify the difference between knowledge and skill. I'm going to tell you and I give you an example of knowledge and wisdom. Right. Uh, for example, uh, is tomato a fruit? Or a vegetable is tomato a fruit or vegetable fruit tomato is a fruit is it yes sir okay but we should not include in fruit salad that is wisdom we do not <laughs> use it for fruit salad right so this is the difference right this is what we call knowledge and wisdom right so here i'll talk about skill that we people are more focused about results right so if we if we can as a teachers if we focus if we can you know we uh, use communication as a medium as a tool as a channel right in developing the skills of our students be it you know i i go through the list that you people are you know you are from heterogeneous background there are lots of people from different kind of backgrounds is this computer and arts and you know humanities and there are people from maths uh, background people from you know 
uh, there is one person from defense academy so there are people right so i did some homework because i wanted to know about you people so when i come to you people when i you know talk with you people i should know that who you people are right uh, what is the range of the people you know where i am talking to so that can help me to connect with you people easily so if you can develop or if you can help students in developing skills definitely most definitely we are going to help them and that is the important thing that we need to take into consideration that's number one thing right that is what we call the take home right of this session right okay uh, next one uh, third one is communication so we have talked about it a lot so i'll not give much uh, you know a, a discussion or will not have more discussion on it because we have already you know talked about it and i could find that you know when i talk about few things everybody more or less talked about uh, communication so it's a simple uh, theory that whatever you want to convey it should be conveyed right i, I read one beautiful sentence you know it was a very uh, sarcastic quotation that i am responsible for what i speak i am responsible for whatever i speak i am not responsible for what you understand so that is a kind of approach which is not acceptable in in a, in higher education in this our profession that we are in right so we are equally responsible for what students understand and we are equally responsible for what we speak so both are important in a way we can say right so communication is important the process is encoding and decoding there are barriers there are lots of barriers that come that, that plays a role it can be semantic one it can be you know psychological one it can be mechanical one right that can be a problem for example my hands free is not working it's a mechanical problem right the laptop is not working it's a mechanical problem so that can be that can play a role for better communication right uh, that can be my uh, faulty planning if i fail to you know plan out that this is the way i want to talk about that can even uh, 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 you know what we call it play an important role that can be a proper structure or articulation even that can play an important role uh, or that can be a barrier so there are uh, many things that we need to understand uh, communication happens everybody but we are we are focused for effective communication and that should happen right and if it is done in that case it can be the most important one right this is the title that i wanted to explain okay now i feel that you know when i speak more i feel my, my the people who listen to me you know they get bored i feel uh, i get the same feedback at my home when i talk to my you know family so i guess that i should ask you people that you know is it the same case with you people are you getting bored or what no sir not, not at no, all sir, sir. Okay, okay fine fine not so, at all sir not at all <laughs> okay fine i could find that cheerfulness uh, in the in the responses uh, thank you very much uh, so we can have something um, some more activity where we can you know where we can have lots of interactions right so let's go for it i'm going to share one document link over here so basically we want to talk about uh, different do's and don'ts now that come across so what i've done is i have uh, written your names i copied from the list you can find your names here fine in the link and i'm going to share that link here fine okay so uh, you can find out your name is there and what you need to do is for example be a good listener is it a do or don't whether it is a you know it comes under do's or don'ts you need to write do or don't you need to write just only that either you write d or do or you write don't that will make a sentence do that means be a good listener that is under do's right and be clear and direct be respectful we have confidently criticized in public so you need to find out do's and don'ts and you need to type it right for this you have got maximum 10 minutes maximum 10 minutes and i want to see that who can be the fastest finger first everybody faster Okay, Kunjgnatra uh, has started. Good, good. 
look at the speed great okay here uh, sami solanki ji has also started working great. sir my name is my name is at the end so it's very difficult to you know <laughs> <laughs> you need you should have uh, registered earlier it's your problem <laughs> Okay. I, I could so, understand his pain. <laughs> so I I probably will take some more time. No problem. I'll give you five minutes. No problem. Uh, uh, there is no uh, uh, political answers, diplomatic answers. Uh, give more attention to cell phones. Uh, it should be do or don't, right? Ganatra ji, uh, uh, you cannot be either way, right? i guess engineers are waiting that when somebody completes the row will copy and paste <laughs> <laughs> i've been teaching engineers for 8 years so i am you know semi demi engineer in a way you can say <laughs> great okay anand kumar patel ji is working very good okay great Uh, look at the bottom side okay in the south india <laughs> uh, sejal bhawsar uh, is working good sejal ji uh, nirali madam is also working uh, i'll not uh, allow depend right so don't copy and paste spelling errors will not be considered 3 minutes to go you pull up your sleeves faster i'm done sir i'm done See, samir okay very good samir ji you are the winner of fastest finger first today <laughs> how much money will i get sir <laughs> no, i'll i'll send my paytm qr card if you are for you need to pay <laughs> great great three more minutes to go you are very generous sir even kbc doesn't pay for fastest finger print <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm charging. Actually, I'm charging, not paying. <laughs> okay. I told that I'll share my QR code uh, for Paytm. Acha. <laughs> It's the end of the you know last day of twenty twenty, so you can be generous. You know, you can you know uh, donate some of the amount to a poor fellow. You can see whom you can see on the screen. <laughs> okay, I'm done, sir. <laughs> okay, great. uh kunj gnatra ji please uh, change uh, this depends is not allowed it should be the do or don'ts there are few people who are not there so what i'll do is i'll hide the rules so it can be easier for the remaining people to go for it fine uh nicha madam so only one to go if you can make it faster
there are many people who have not started yet Jyoti madam, uh, one or two to complete. Adilaji, uh, please, if you can you know, complete the task. You have completed four. A few are remaining. Ketan, sir, uh, I guess you're done uh, from your side. OK. Yes, sir. Yeah, you also completed given the remarks done. <laughs> Great. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> so double tap. Okay. Sumanji has also completed, I guess. Okay. And Nirali Madam has completed. Sajil Madam has completed. Okay. So we'll have one minute more and then we'll wind it up. Okay. Uh, no, madam. Uh, no problem, madam. No, madam. It's okay. You can contribute orally the way you did it. <laughs> right? Sure, sir. <laughs> okay. Actually, you need to uh, download Google Sheets uh, application. In that case, you will be able to do it. So if you've got a good network uh, connection connectivity, you can do that. It will take two or three minutes. But uh, uh, no compulsion if you wish to, right? Yes, sir. Please. So uh, more two minutes more, and then we'll we'll go for the next one, right? The people who are completed are requested to you know uh, help your friends. On the last day of 2020, you can uh, you can it can be a good thing to help your friend, your peer, your you know fellow participant. If you've got a WhatsApp group, ask them. You can make a call. You can help, but don't copy and paste from your uh, row to somebody's row. Right? Don't do that. <laughs> Uh, sir, meanwhile, if you have one or two minutes, just would like to, you know, sir. Yes, sir. No problem. Please tell me. Yeah. Uh, you know, just just a just a outlook. I mean, like since we had a discussion uh, some time back about uh, you know, kind of imbibing English into the culture and stuff. Uh, right. If you look at the new education policy, probably, uh, uh, you know. It, it, it is slightly contrary to what I mean, like probably you told or uh, we discussed. How, what is your take on that? Right. As in new education policy uh, thinks of, uh, uh, you know, compulsory education in the mother tongue till fifth standard. Okay. Uh, sorry, I, I lost you in between. If you can repeat your question. Uh, sir, what is your take on can... the new education policy, uh, which is contrary to what right. we discussed uh, some time back? wherein they are thinking of uh, implementing okay. compulsorily uh, mother tongue, uh, uh, you know, education in mother tongue till fifth standard. <laughs> this is in contrary. Okay. I'll take this. Uh, uh, it's a very important. Yeah, yeah, I understood. I understood. Yeah, so. I... No, 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 it's not in contrary. It is support of the argument that is about to be discussed. Uh, let, let these people complete this. Uh, we'll have a very good discussion on it, right? I'll, I'll I'll just share my arguments on it, right? That, that, it I mean, might I be useful to a lot of people. While they are completing <laughs> this, the thought of throwing this question at you. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. But you know, I'm I'm just looking at the people. You know, the the, the way they are doing. 
ओके ओके सर नो आई एम एंजॉइंग द 100% पार्टिसिपेशन दैट्स व्हाई नो इशू सर आई एम सॉरी फाइन फाइन या नो नो इट्स ओके इट्स ओके डेफिनेटली वी विल हैव अ डिस्कशन ऑन इट ये रानी मैडम मेक श्योर दैट यू कंप्लीट इट इन वन मिनट टाइम fine okay i guess uh most of the people have completed so even uh okay uh nupur madam has started so please madam uh, make it fast anjali madam uh, if you can complete it in one minute time uh, there is no problem i can give you one one minute if you are completing it great yeah anjali ji if you can complete it faster okay uh, i'll keep this open uh, even after the session so you can you know have reference uh, later on too okay so let's move to the uh, next one okay thank you thank you anjali ma'am right okay so let me come back to our main presentation I'll take one minute time and uh, we'll go for it. Okay. So before we uh, talk about this, I would like to uh, address to, uh, I guess, uh, who asked this question. yeah uh, i get suman ji right uh, he had a question that uh, when i uh, try to connect culture and communications in that way uh, what we can do is i tell you that the the, the research that uh, what i carried and what i could uh, discover that the students uh, whose english was good their gujarati was also good and, and the, the people who had a problem in english they had a problem in gujarati in the first language that means if you go reverse right it is not the question of uh, language right i tell you that if your first language is good based on your first language you can learn any language or any languages there is no problem about it right see uh, the problem is what we do is we use translation method we translate from first language to second language the problem is the first language is not adequate. if you are not mastering the first language in that case 
there is a beautiful co you know, system called you know, GIG or garbage in, garbage out. It happens there, right? And that is the base of education policy that they, they want to make people. Because the surrounding is the first language. Surrounding is not the second language, right? And they also go and fit the three language formula, right? So later on, they can do it because the, the language in which you dream, you think, you can be fluent in that language faster, right? So that was the thing. So whatever I could discover at that point of time was that if we can help students to articulate things in the first language, definitely they can translate the same thing in second language without any problem or much difficulty. That was the conclusion, actually. Okay, so yeah, uh, yeah. Any, anything more you would like to uh, uh, add to? Them. Yes, this is more on articulation and then rather than uh, whether uh, English is a first language or a second, third language, etc. Yes, 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 definitely. Because I have seen that people learn French language, people, uh, the people from you know, uh, mechanical engineering, they are they, they learn German language. They you know the people who go for medical, right, they learn Russian language. Thing is that your first language is good in that case, based on your first language, expressions of your first language, you can go with second language easily. Okay, so thank you. Okay, okay. Now, uh, uh, as uh, Sneha Madam uh, uh, mentioned that uh, there would be a session for one and a half hours and the 30 minutes would be there for uh, uh, question, answer and discussions. So I'm late by two minutes actually, right? Uh, keeping in mind the time uh, timings, right? Okay, so we'd like to discuss about uh, your suggestions, your learning, your take home. What did you learn? What did you? Uh, what will you take on today with this session? And uh, whatever your suggestions are, so the platform is open. I am also open to accept things, and I want to know from you people that what are the things that you thought of? Uh, three things in the beginning of the session, and uh, when we are on the verge of completing the session, what are the things that is there? So Google Form is a different story. There's an administrative thing that uh, it's a part of our session. So if you can uh, also you know, help me to discover that whatever you could find. Uh, so if nobody is, I mean, I, I'll, I'll, I'll probably start if, if it's OK. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fine, fine. Uh, uh, sir, first of all, uh, thank you so much. I would uh, first congratulate you. Uh, very nice and inter interactive session. Uh, uh, I know it's very difficult to engage people post lunch, <laughs> so I think uh, you know, pele ball me sixer is is what I can tell you. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, bringing in those Google Sheets and you know, uh, you know, those discussions were really very nice. I mean, like I'll probably uh, take that and probably uh, when I take a Class post lunch, I'll probably engage students in you know in in, in, a, in a in a in a similar way probably. Uh, sir, uh, I think the best part is uh, you know we started with the three uh, things of communication. There were a lot of suggestions which were very interesting. Uh, I I really liked a few. Uh, uh, I I did not think or probably the three things which I uh, wrote did not uh, include the feedback, the openness, the listening aspects. And those things are something which I take and probably I got to learn. Uh, I think uh, some of the participants mentioned, I think feedback is also an equally important thing and probably knowing your, uh, knowing knowing uh, the, the, uh, the people who, are, who you are addressing uh, is also uh, a very important aspect of communication. Uh, this is probably the right. things that I take, and uh, I really liked uh, some uh, some uh, uh, one-liners. What I should call uh, <laughs> some uh, some uh, instances that you uh, you know uh, they were really good, uh, uh, especially the the butter thief and you know uh, <laughs> and uh, 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 yeah the the difference or probably the difference between wisdom and uh, uh, knowledge, if I'm not wrong, that was yes, a yes. Very, very interesting example, which I would definitely take along with me. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for a very interactive and a good session.
Thank you. Okay. Uh, see, I, I keep on telling my students that this is the era of uh, collaboration, not the competition, right? So if we can together work, you know, definitely we can, uh, you know, do the miracles. There's a beautiful saying, in African, you know, saying that uh, you alone can go fast, but together we can go far. So I, I, I make sure that, you know, when I deliver the session, I make sure that the people who are on the other side, they should be included and they should be given more chance, right, uh, to share. And if it is there, uh, the bridge is established in that way. We can have the you know bigger gray area, more common grounds, and we can have more discussions on that. Okay. Uh, Thank you, sir, okay. and uh, wish you happy new year in advance. Thank you very much. I uh, still there are few things to share, uh, so you cannot get rid of me uh, faster, right? <laughs> I think I'm getting I'm getting and uh, everybody rid of me, so I thought of wishing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, anybody else? Yes. Actually, I wanted to uh, ask everybody, but uh, we can have a few people to share the details. Yes, Suman sir is always there. <laughs> it's good. Good morning, okay. everybody. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, yes. uh, anyone else? Uh, today, so many other participants also uh, have given their very uh, good suggestions and everything. No? So we want to listen from you also. So. Please, you can record this and uh, Sir, I would like to uh, speak something. Yes, no good, ma'am. Yes, please. Uh, it was a very uh, wonderful session. Uh, interacting you with you was really great. Uh, what I uh, learned from this session is uh, how to engage students. You exactly. engaged so very well in you know post-lunch <laughs> sessions, like rightly Suman sir said. You know, are uh, really uh, you know uh, boring for from student perspective, and we <laughs> as students today, uh, we right. you know I, I, in training we call these as graveyard sessions. <laughs> so keeping <laughs> keeping uh, uh, you know uh, people on the other side active is really important. That's what I learned. Google Sheets all of us use, but it can be used so effectively is what I learned today in the classroom. Right. Right. So right. Uh, that was the take for me from this session. And uh, many participants came up with a lot of inputs of uh, how communication can be more effective. I myself, I'm a communication uh, teacher. So okay. I, I will agree with all of them, whatever the comments that they have given and whatever inputs you have given. So thank you very much, sir. It was a really wonderful session. And it was uh, great interacting with you. OK. Uh, if I uh, you know, complete uh, the few slides remaining, you know, I can tell you. Yes. Sir. Uh, this is what the crux. I wanted to talk about if we if we want to uh, you know answer what is the importance of communication in higher education. This is the word feedback. I was very happy that you know you were the first person to mention feedback. That's why I you know I was impressed and I was I could find that okay there's somebody who was there who can you know uh, we can it would be less you know uh, trouble or you know uh, hard work to connect the dots. So feedback. Thank you, sir. Yeah, and uh, all of you, I tell you that you know the entire session. If you you know uh, recall, every moment was there, but I was seeking your feedback, and based on your feedback, uh, you will be surprised to know that there were five different activities I had planned for. Five different activities. These two activities, keeping in mind your first instances, that the way you responded, I jumped to this, right? Otherwise, I had lined up four different things, right? I I thought that if I get this kind of responses, I'll go for this kind of thing. So there were things ready with me, right? And uh, based on the feedback that I constantly was getting, I was trying to retrieve, and that is the crux. That is the most, most important thing. This question that why feedback is important is asked uh, in you know many exams, in you know final exams. But thing is that we feel to understand that th this is really important in a way. So that was the thing. Uh, your ex, we are the things. It's things are open for your expressions. Your, your, you know, the way you say it. I guess you know whatever I want you people to speak on. You spoke earlier. That was that's why I was you know restricting people that you know please, <laughs> you save your energy, save your words and expressions till the last slide. <laughs> but still, if we if you have anybody uh, uh, would like to share. Yeah, free to share. You know, yes, one minute or two minutes time. I'm sir, sir, yeah. Yes, please. We have time. Yes, Suman, sir, you can continue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
uh, so just on a lighter note uh, what if we had not yeah. responded on the first uh, uh, google form <laughs> i had plan b <laughs> okay <laughs> you know i'm uh, uh, agreed this is on a lighter note but i hope right, many, right. many of my colleagues here would agree there are instances where students don't even respond uh, you know at uh, uh, at the first instance so i mean like, right right we really have got to have plan a b c d blah 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 <laughs> so <laughs> just, if you if you if you notice i didn't start with the session i started with the you know uh, the story emergency exit and you know people started talking about it i recalled your most favorite and luxurious time when you traveled on you know uh, in aircraft and you know the things were there so that was the thing where i could find the common thing uh, if i could not find uh, you know response over there in, in that because in do, telling that story only i could come to know that okay people are you know responding respond they responsive and they will respond to me uh, secondly i studied all uh, you know all of you uh, your details your backgrounds and all because i asked uh, uh, sneha madam to share the details of you all the participants so i can work accordingly my uh, you know lecture notes the things that i wanted to share that was related to somewhere covering everybody's mindset because if i talk about only communication point of view it cannot be you know uh, it cannot suffice the purpose so that was uh, one homework second thing if you had not answered to the communication i would have asked you certain other things right for example uh, uh, what are the people uh, how many people of how many of you like uh, sweet in the you know in the lunch and all those things right and based on that i would try to reconnect you people once you are connected we can uh, now go for the another activity which i have set for other sessions so i'll not disclose it here right <laughs> but in this way it happens right <laughs> so very interesting sir uh, uh, in fact uh, a lot to learn from you thank you so much uh, hi pleasure <laughs> yes neha madam yes sir thank you so much for an interesting session i guess all of us have enjoyed otherwise it was the time to sleep for all of us <laughs> 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 and uh, once again sir thank you for accepting the invitation in a very short time and giving a, right. a nice presentation on the topic Uh, i wish that we continue this legacy for future also so that i can invite you again and again for such <laughs> seminars and festivities <laughs> most most definitely <laughs> yes sir and give my regards to sunil sir and other colleagues surely most definitely okay okay thank okay. you okay thank you all everybody uh, for uh, listen to me it was a great session it was a great time with you people uh, wish you a happy new year to everyone in advance i hope that it would be the best uh, year of your life uh, 2021 and that will you know uh, bring all your dreams come true in this year thank you very much everybody have a great day ahead thank you thank you thank, thank you, you so much sir, sir. Thank you, for sir. sharing the knowledge with us it was indeed a great learning experience on behalf of gita once again thank you sir for giving your time for this session thank you okay, thank you thank you now all participants are requested to fill the feedback form and now we will meet tomorrow thank you all